You guys may be overwhelmed by the My Player news, confused on the cat breaker system and how it all works, the complete revamp to the takeover, and also the addition of legend badges. In this video, I'm going to break down everything there is to know about the builder and the info we got today. Let's go. All right, so the first thing I wanted to dive into was the comparison of the 2K24 builder, as you can see on the left, and the new 2K25 builder on the right. Now, just like every year, what a lot of people tend to do, what I like to do, is try to replicate what, what build they show in the 2K25, just try to see if you can get something similar or the same exact thing in 2K24, just to see how the attributes work. And as you can see, man, you get so much more attributes on the 2K25 builder. I followed, I followed the finishing, the 72 close shot, 85 lay, 87 dunk, right? I followed the shooting, 73 midi, 82 free throw. The playmaking, I could even get the pass accuracy to 82, which they have. And just by with the first three categories of finishing, shooting, playmaking, my build was already a 98 overall. I could barely put any more attributes elsewhere. Meanwhile, in 2K25, same height, same weight, same wingspan, same finishing of the other attributes, but you still able to get 73 perimeter, 71 steel, high agility on the, on the 2K25 builder, which costs so much more. So just off this look, it seems like you're able to get a lot more um attributes on 2k25 um which i don't know man that might be kind of glitchy depends how people how people use it our demigod build's gonna be back like in uh, 2k21 if you guys remember the six sevens that can literally do everything um it definitely looks like you can make a super well-rounded kind of glitchy build on 2k25 and for those confused about the cap breakers um i've seen a lot of tweets from even creators um talking about the cap breakers and how they think they work and even though i've seen some wrong things like people are saying things that aren't actually true so i just want to clear up you guys for those of y'all confused about the cap breakers i'm going to show you guys exactly how to best utilize them so when the game does come on release day you guys already have a gist of how it works and how you want to make your bill all right so i've seen a lot of people confused on twitter and how even creators um I put some tweets on the screen right now that show like, oh, we're being able to, you can make an 85 ball handle if it maxes out of 85, you can keep 85 and reach 90 with the cap breakers. That's not how the cap breakers work. Um, obviously we haven't had a lot of information, but from what has been said and some other tweets from gameplay directors like Wolf and stuff like that, the way cap breakers work and how to utilize them in my opinion, is to save attributes on your build to get other ratings upgraded. What do I mean by that? As you guys know, the, the extra like high 90 attributes cost a lot of attributes. As you see, going from a 94 steel, let's just take steel for example, 94, you're a 46 overall. I have nothing upgraded but steel. I raised that to a 99 and I'm a 59 overall. So I went from a 40, 40, like high, like mid 40s to almost 60 overall just by upgrading steel. Now, how would a cap breaker help this? Um, I'm not sure. The 99 steel, I'm guessing that's going to be Hall of Fame glove or Hall of Fame interceptor or legend glove, legend interceptor, however the badges is. So the way to utilize that, in my opinion, for like a lock or something, you would want to go 94 steel and use five cap breakers or maybe even go 95 since 90, 94 to 95 only saves uh, is only cost two attributes. Go 95 steel, use four cap breakers here, then you can go this build 6671 wingspan gets an 85.3 so if you want limitless maybe you only go 83 and you just add two cat breakers there i think it's best to utilize it um for for things that are expensive so strength you get 90 strength for brick wall gold immovable let's let's only go 87 and then we use three cat breakers there so now we're only at 63 but we have bronze limitless if we add two cat breakers to three we have 99 steel if we add the four cap breakers. We have 90 strength if we add three cap breakers. I think from what I've read, there's going to be 15 cap breakers overall that you unlock through the seasons and through, through, um, through rep, I think, that they said. Um, I'm not sure yet how much you start off with, um, if it's only five or however much it is. But I would recommend always using your cap breakers for the expensive attributes. Um, cause now that you're saving all those, all those overalls, now you're able to add more to your game. Like on a pure lock build, as you guys know, this year, pure locks didn't really have high finishing or, you know what I'm saying? High pass sack. Now you can save on the steel because you're still getting 99, 
now you can actually have rebounding on your lock or you can actually have some driving dunk or post control or, you know what i'm saying so pass accuracy so that's the that's my where my mind goes at with these cap breakers and what i think um it's gonna make the builder super unique because people you can add plus one two three there's gonna be a lot of different ways people utilize um the cap breakers and how they make their build uh, but I do think, like I said, using it for those expensive attributes is what is what really going to make your build uh, be more overall and save more attributes and just get a better build overall. All right. So I wanted to show you guys like an example with a full maxed out build again of how to utilize the cap breakers. So 6-2 guard, 98-3 for the Hall of Fame, Agent 3's blinders with the half speed booster. This is like a typical um pg pro and build that you'll see a lot of people went with the 80 layup for the trey young the super high three ball 98 to get the hall of fame badges off speed booster obviously no defense how would cat break yourself with this so with three as you see i can get a 98 i can't do plus one here i can't do a plus one cat breaker to get 99 three to get hall of fame limitless or legend limitless whatever it's going to be since my build can't get 99 what I can do, though, is I can lower this to like 95. As you see, that saves me two overalls, or I can even go lower to 94 and utilize four cap breakers if I'm going 94. Utilize three cap breakers if I'm going 95. Same thing with ball handle. Same thing with speed with ball. I can go 92 ball handle. I am able to get 95. My build is capable, but I'll go only 92. Add three cap breakers there, and I technically do have a 95 while saving those attributes. Same thing again with the speed with ball. I can lower it to 88. Use three cap breakers now. So the same exact build that was a 99 before, I technically am still gonna have the same attributes with the cap breakers. So my three would still be a 98. My ball handle would still be a 95. Speed with ball still a 91. And since it goes towards badges and animations, I'm still gonna have Hall of Fame speed booster. Still gonna have Hall of Fame dead eye and blinders and all that. But now I'm a 95. Now on a build that didn't have any defense, super offensive oriented, I can go, how, how much steel can I get? You can go almost 85 steel on this build. So a build that had no steel, a 6-2 PG with super high offense, no defense. Now just by utilizing the cap breakers, I'm able to get almost 85 steel. So that's how I feel like that's gonna be best utilized. Um, again, I always, I'm always gonna say it, you want to utilize it for how I'm seeing how the cap breakers work. You do want to utilize it for the high ratings since the high ratings in the 90s always cost the most. You're not going to want to do 84 midi. Oh, let me go 81 midi and use three cap breakers to get 84 midi to get gold midi magician. It's not really worth it. Stuff like that is super cheap. As you can see, you want to use your cap breakers for the most expensive attributes so you can save the most and, and add more to your build. So what, what went from a super offensive oriented PG build with no defense, went to the same offense, but now with defense. So that's how you guys are gonna wanna utilize the cap breakers from the information that we've received so far. All right, so moving on to the takeover aspect of 2K25. As you can see, it's way different. They completely revamped it from how it is in 2K24. 2K24, you get a bucket, assist, dunk, whatever, you can pop single, or you can go for Mamba if you unlocked it now it seems to be completely different there's five levels what what caught my eye when i first look at this is here right here i'm gonna pause it level five in this video in this screenshot from the stuff that 2k put out they have no takeover ability active it's on default um i don't know if you have to unlock um certain ones or if you just choose which one you want i'm guessing it's based off on the bills if someone someone with no post control isn't gonna be able to get barbecue chicken which like helps in the post so but just by this screenshot right here of the default takeover it says plus three to all offensive and defensive categories now my question and what i wonder is once you do select um a takeover because as you see if we move on to the next one it's going to show us like a little clip here we're going to move on to the next one this one he has barbecue chicken activated instead of default so instead of showing plus one uh, to shooting, plus two, I mean, plus one offense, plus two to offensive defense, whatever. Now it's saying specific, um, specific attributes. So barbecue chicken does close shot, post control, strength. Cause like I said, that helps, that helps. Um, it's, it's circulated around the post control. So level five gives you plus seven. My question is, is it just plus seven 
to post control strength and close shot or is it plus seven on top of the additional like plus three to all attributes that's what i would like to know we don't have all the information yet i would assume it's the plus sevens plus like the plus three for all attributes that's what i would assume um this can be super glitchy man also one thing that's different um with 2k25 takeover than 2k24 is that there's no popping takeover there's no ghost pop it's it's no let me save it you know what i'm saying so it's once you reach level five as you're getting up into your level five you're 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 gonna be playing better your your attributes do go up and then once you hit level five and you get your takeover ability then you get an even bigger boost so if you're an elite shooter you can pop bucket maybe i don't know exactly what bucket does but I would assume it has to do with boosting your midi or boosting your three or something of that nature. Um, I'm super excited to see what the takeover is. I heard there's like 72, 74 different takeovers. Um, obviously, you know me, I'm probably going to go with one with steel defense oriented. Um, imagine just like 90 something steel. You have level five now, so you have plus seven steel It's going to be it's going to be crazy um but yeah man i'm super excited for the 2k25 i kind of like how they did this takeover i didn't really like it how before like you can just you can weigh and then like someone who doesn't even have anything to do with a specific takeover can still pop that takeover that makes sense you have like inside centers popping sharp take when they like got fouled and went to the free throw end of the like end of the game super clutch situation he has low free throw but hey he had bad so he popped sharp and now he he can green his free throws it didn't really make sense i kind of like this style of the <clears throat> of the takeover way more um and it seems to be a lot a lot of different options so we're gonna see a lot of different people utilizing different takeovers and we'll obviously see which one ends up being like the top ones that a lot of people would tend to gravitate to but that's it for the takeovers man let's get straight to the badges all right so for the badges man they completely i think it was 42 i think or 52 badges that they completely not not i don't want to say removed but either removed or just revamped um and and put everything in one category what i mean by that set uh set shot specialist for this one right here and shooting boost chances of knocking down standstill shots so catch and shoot if you're just in the corner spot up like a 6a spot up like i was in prom power forward i'm in the corner instead of catch and shoot claymore corner specialist all these different badges popping up it's just going to be such shot specialist um it's only five badges i know that they said that like they're implementing a more basic approach where everything like i said is kind of meshed together but only five shooting badges does sound kind of crazy um but it should make it easier for like you know if you depending on the rating obviously depends on how high of a badge you can get but the fact that they all do combine together like corner specialist claymore catch and shoot um i i, I don't know what really what call as green machine i guess green machine was one of those badges that they just took out because i don't see any shooting badges here that kind of resemble green machine um shout out jp he put this little screen together of all the badges that were removed or implemented into other other badges 50 something i think it's it's insane that the amount of badges they took out obviously like speed booster got a got changed to like um quick quick feed or something like that like obviously there's some different names which kind of do the same thing um but it's still crazy to think and this is what i meant um shout out to wolf again he's one of the gameplay developers for 2k um a lot of the badges got combined from 2k24 to 2k25 some examples blinders got incorporated into dead eye so people are saying bro they took out blinders oh my god they were like we're gonna get contested from the sides again is it no like blinders got incorporated into dead eye so instead of now it being dead eye from the front blinders for the size it's just dead eye which i would assume covers all grounds of contest so obviously other badges like fast switch got moved into paint prodigy and he said there's a there's a whole lot more now with this one the legend badge is what i wanted to get into and it kind of ties ties within the um cat breaker ball handle so 98 ball handle gives you ankle assassin legend all right so 95 ball handle is already a lot obviously there's going to be those dribble heads that want to go super crazy and get ankle assassin um on legend i keep trying to say hall of fame it's kind of it's kind of weird hall of fame not being like the max one but so this is where cat breakers can really be effective in my opinion 
So you can go only 93 ball handle. 93 ball handle gives you the gold gold ankle assassin but now you add plus five so that the problem before in 2k24 was that there was things that gave you plus one the arm sleeves the headband leg sleeve shoulder sleeve whatever plus one steel plus one this but they never counted towards at like ratings like the animations badges none of that so it was it really effective did it really matter not really but the fact that the cat breakers do count towards badges and animations makes it so like getting legend badges are definitely you, you definitely want to get your legend badges with the cat breakers. In my opinion, I feel like that's going to be the best way to save on the attributes and get a better build all around. So 98 ball handle, like I said, you probably would want to go 93 or 94 and add those four to five to the, the cat breakers to the ball handle to get that um but it it does seem like the badges are more just like i said meshed together um i'm excited to see how it's gonna be uh sorry for the audio in the back if you guys heard that um but i'm, I'm excited man first time us getting the legend badge um how hard is it gonna be to get i'm not sure another thing from the courtside reports if you guys don't know already you still have to earn your badges just like in 2k24 the more you use them the faster you get them the only difference is now and thank god it's like this you no longer lose your badges. So you're no longer gonna go a couple games without using this specific badge and it goes down all the way to bronze. No, so that's a, that's a super huge W because that was an issue with 2K25, uh, 2K24 that was super annoying is losing, losing badge progression. So that's out the game. It's only getting your badges. You're no longer losing them. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. That's gonna be everything I covered the builder comparison between 24 and 25 um i covered cat breakers i covered the new takeover system i covered the new legend badge and how the badges work and which ones were removed and which ones came back so hope you guys enjoyed the video man um i'm gonna be dropping the best builds best at best everything 2k25 i'm fully locked in man drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new until next time i'm out of here peace